Hi class, for this video, we're going to talk about geometric uh, sequence. The big difference between geometric sequence and arithmetic is um, for arithmetic, we have a common difference. For geometric, we have common ratio. So to find the next number in geometric sequence, you multiply instead of adding. Um, so I give you the um, formula right there. Uh, but you see, given those three numbers, you can figure it out the next term. So how do we get from 5 to negative 20? Um, you can take negative 20 and divide by 5. That's how you got negative 4. So that's going to be the common ratio for this particular problem. The common ratio is negative 4. So negative 20 times negative 4, that's how you get 80, right? And then 80 you're going to multiply by negative 4, and that's how you get um, negative 320. And then you multiply by negative 4 one more time, you get 1280. Okay, so that's how you find um, the, the next two terms. And if you keep multiplying negative 4, you're going to get the next number. All right, so. Uh, keep in mind uh, the formula that we have. So the formula is a n a one times r n minus one power. Right there. Okay. So that's this is multiplication. Now they ask you to find the sixth term. So they're asking you to find a six. Right. They give you a one, which is four. Um, and then the r, the common ratio, is 3 half. n minus 1, so it's 6 minus 1 right there. So from here, we can uh, definitely uh, work it out. So you're going to take 3 to the fifth power um, and then over 2 to the fifth power. So what I have is 243. I don't want to use decimal. I'm just going to use um, fraction. So 2 to the fifth power, that's 32. Okay, and then we can simplify it, right? So if I simplify, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel out 4 and 32, which is 8. So the answer should be 243 over 8. Okay, all right. Moving on to number 22. Number 22 is slightly harder because they didn't give you R. They didn't give you, um, uh, they didn't give you R. They didn't give you A1 either. So just like arithmetic, I'm going to replace, I'm going to replace A1 with AM. Okay, so AM. It's going to be R, M, uh, N, sorry, N, N minus M. So this is the equation. This is the formula we're going to use for this problem. So what I have is A, A14, A11 times r, n minus um, 11, uh, so r, sorry, 14 minus 11 is going to be 3, right? I'm just going to write it down like that. Okay, so let's, let's put everything in. A14 is 58. A11 is 29 over 4. And then we are looking for R. Okay, so first I can always divide, right? And I can, <clears throat> I can always take 58 divide by 29 um, over 4. That means I multiply by the reciprocal. That's going to give me R cubed, right? So if you simplify that 58 times 4, um, 
over 29, you're going to end up with 8 equals to r cubed. So if I take the cube root, I'm going to get r equals 2. Now I can go back and find a 17. So a 17 is going to be, I'm going to pick a 11. a 11 times 2 to the 17 minus 11. Okay, so a 17 is a11, sorry, um, a11 is 29 over 4. Times 2 to the 6th power, right? So if you calculate that, 2 to the 6th power is 64. We simplify with 4, you're going to end up with 464.